Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the top 5 Raspberry Pi cases. There are some budget ones, and there are some very expensive ones, there are custom cases, there are ones that you can just print off and put on your Raspberry Pi case. So I hope you enjoy my top 5, these are my personal top 5 that I like, not the ones that I think everybody will like. These are my top 5. I want what you think to be in the comments below, so please go on and comment below after, after watching. Okay, so let's build this thing. We've got the Raspberry Pi here, we've got all the pieces and stuff. If you're wondering about the skip, by the way, um, I made a pretty funny error. So if you watch it at the end, I might slip that in about what I've done wrong. So I basically had to take it apart. Kind of funny. So let's build this thing from scratch. We'll go as quick as we can. First time around, I took 10 minutes because I was talking at the same time. So, yeah, let's go. So the bottom is uh, this plastic part here, it's clear, so let's uh, take off this bit. So as you can see, let's, uh, let's put that up close up, see if you can um, have a look at it. So it's got these nicely Very etched, nice. uh, good sort of look to it. So that's the SD card slot there, you can see the uh, labelling. Very nice. The rest of it, very good, uh, very structurally solid. Let's plug it in to see the lights turning on, if we get time. Well, that's a minor bugger, that USB cable won't fit it. So, cool. There's your Raspberry Pi case. Hope you enjoyed. And might as well do a close-up of all the other nice stuff. So, enjoy!
There will be two versions. Of course, this will be mass produced out of plastic instead of metal. This is the prototype. Um, one version will be just as you see here with the I.O. pins, and then a second version will just be a flat panel here for people that don't want access to the I.O. pins. So if you're building a media center or a console like I was, you wouldn't need to have these ugly screw terminals sticking out the back. But if you want to do robotics or access motors or, you know, I.O., then you'll have that option as well. So the only connectors that actually plug into the Raspberry Pi directly are the composite and the audio. I figured today's standard using HDMI that most people wouldn't really use these connectors anyway. So that was my top 5 Raspberry Pi cases. If you have any top 5 Raspberry Pi creations, please leave them in the comments below. And there will be a link here for my top 10 Raspberry Pi project.